what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and things are getting kind of hot and juicy um we don't know what's going to happen next clay just beat up Gemma. there's just so much going on you know and you don't know what's going to happen next you know and, and that's where we're at it's like we're in this world of the sons of anarchy and we just gotta wait as a bug on the wall for what's going to happen next because it's all chaos it's all chaos and it's a lot of family matters you know it's a lot of family situations going on i think Gemma is going to tell Jax what's been going on with clay and that's gonna be maybe he's gonna run i don't know but we'll see what happens i don't know i don't know but anyways let's jump into it and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was <laughs> intense to say the least. It was a nice build up. You know, it was a nice build up, man. Um I think Clay is going to survive this. But at least teach him a lesson that the problem with this whole thing, I think Gemma is trying to preserve the club itself because I think this could be a huge falling out because he doesn't really know the real reason. Jax doesn't know the real reason. So it's like things are just kind of up in the air because Unser went and told Ope, you know, a story basically just telling them, you know, what I'm saying to push him over the edge to kill Clay because Unser has his own reasons, right? Why he wants Clay dead. Uh this show, this show, this show, this show. We got two more episodes left for this season, man. And I'm gonna try and wrap this up tomorrow. No wrap wrap up the series tomorrow. No I keep saying noit <laughs> tomorrow night, right? I'm gonna try to wrap it up tomorrow um tomorrow night. And, you know, see where we're at. So there's a lot going on, man. Freaking Wendy is back. She she just, she gets on my nerves on the screen, man. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, she, she just gets on my nerves. Like, I do, I do not want to see her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to see her, man. Like, she just irks me. She just gets on my last nerve every time I see her because you know what I'm saying like you're an ex junkie and I'm not saying that she shouldn't be in her son's life and all this other stuff but the fact is the fact that you come in and you're trying to make it seem like you know oh, I'm gonna get lawyers involved and all of this other stuff if you won't let me see my son and all of this you know what I mean which, in my opinion, I think this is something that Jack should have taken care of a long time ago by making um, Tara, the, like, the legal guardian or, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fact, that, you know, it's going to come into play now that, you know, because they're not married, he's in, you know what I'm saying, federal lockdown, he can't leave the state. So all that stuff is going to come into play. So it's a very real threat that Wendy might end up. Um, what is that? All these creases in my green screen, man. They just be, they they just be doing weird stuff sometimes, you know. When I'm this like this, but in any case, I use my big ass head to to hide it, and and then another one pops up down here. <laughs> it's just so weird in the light in this room. But the fact is, you know. She, you know, as I said, she can become a real threat in getting custody because um, there's so much things going on with Jax, you know, and, 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 and Tara not being the real mom. They're not married. So there's a real threat that Wendy could get custody if she tries because she's cleaned up her act. It's just that I don't want her to have Abel because... The, the problem is, you know, with with Tara being in the hospital now, not, 
you know what I'm saying, not sure if she's going to practice medicine again, you know, she's getting the job, but she has to have, have that job, you know, and, you know, the, the worst thing about it is that she's not married to Jax, see, if she was married to Jax, you know, she could have a legitimate claim on the child, you know what I'm saying, on getting the child, at, or to claim the child as her own, you know, in some way as a surrogate or, you know, in place of, you know, with Wendy abandoning the child in the past. Like, they could bring up that history, but the fact is that she was just a fill-in and Jax is under federal custody, was in jail, he's out on, basically, you know, he's still, you know, on probation. He's still on probation, so um, that that's, would play a big part you know what I'm saying, on them saying, okay, Wendy is the better choice because he's not married to Tara, because he's still the father, but he's, his argument is going to be weak in court. His argument is going to be weak because he's not married to Tara. Ugh, I hate Wendy. I hate her. She should just disappear. <laughs> you know, just just go away, man. Nobody wants you around. I don't even know why they brought her back just to cause this problem. It's just problems on top of problems. Um, I don't think this is the way for, for Clay to go out. You know, I don't think he's going to die from this. I think he's going to be mortally wounded and can't attend the meeting. So there's going to be the issues there, have an internal conflict. The Irish might hear about it. The Mexicans might hear about it, might just, you know, cut them out of everything. And, you know, with this internal conflict, it might be a problem. You know what I mean? Clay dying at a time like this is not good for the club. And I get why Gemma was trying to protect Clay because it's just not a good time to deal with family issues and Unser kind of jumped the gun with hope, you know, and this is where we're at, you know, so it, it, it's, it's just like, I'm so concerned about what's going to happen to club because that meeting is going to happen. The feds are going to be there. They need to call off this meeting one way or the other, you know, Bobby's locked up because freaking Otto, you know, and that's what I said. He should have told Otto the truth. He said, listen, man, we're using him for something right now, so we can't kill him yet. But as soon as this thing is done and this deal is squashed, we're going to kill this man. OK, so you don't have to worry about anything. But the problem with this entire thing, you get what I'm saying, is him lying in the first place, telling him that they already killed the dude when they didn't. And this is what put him in hot water with Otto because Otto is like, man, y'all don't give a shit about me. I've been doing all this stuff, giving away more and more of my life till I literally have no life left. I'm just waiting on them to kill me. And y'all lying to me like this, like it's not cool. And that's why I said like Bobby should not have lied to him because that was the straw that broke the camel's back. You know what I'm saying? So... It's Bobby's in jail. He's going to get locked up because Otto ratted. Uh, and can you really blame Otto, though? Can you really blame him? You know, based on what's been happening to him, can you really blame him? He's done so much for the club. He's given his life for the club. You know, so can you really blame the dude for going down this path that he's going down, you know what I'm saying? Um, so in some ways they don't even really need juice anymore. Well, they still need juice to for the Rico, I guess. Um, so yeah, Ope shot clay. I guess we're gonna see in the final two episodes how they wrap up this season. I'm looking forward to it. But in any case, guys, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. As always, man, leave a like on the video leave a comment please i'm looking for those comments please comment on these videos these videos are getting like three and four comments like 
you know what I'm saying? If y'all guys are not enjoying the reactions, man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, I want comments for these videos more than I want likes, to be honest, because it's just, it's just so weird to, um, to be talking about this stuff. And I feel like I'm talking about it with myself. So the few people that actually, um, comment on the videos is just like, you know, I feel like I'm not getting my fill of discussion. I think that's what I should say. Like, it's like, I feel like I'm talking for the reviews and then that's it. And then I just move on. Like there's no discussion and I want to have a discussion with you guys. I remember when I was watching Game of Thrones, man, like people were just throwing things out there and I could discuss and stuff like that. Like, you know, for anime, you know, people on the channel are, you know, a little bit more engaged. But for my TV shows, if it's not The Walking Dead, it's like, you know, the people that watch watch Sons of Anarchy is like they don't know. They don't want to talk about anything that happened in the episode. They're just like, cool, bro. <laughs> you know? That was cool. <laughs> and that's it. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you you guys nonetheless. See you guys for the next one. Peace.